So guys, welcome back to another video. In this one today, we're going to be talking about the 84 rated inform Andy Robertson. Now, I don't normally review defenders, but in my opinion, there aren't too many great left backs in the Premier League in Ultimate Team this year. So I was interested to try this new inform Robertson out. Anyway, before we get into things, you guys know the drill. In the comments below, let me know your thoughts on this card. Also, let me know who you want to see me do a video on next. Drop a like on the video if you enjoy these player reviews. And be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Okay, so in-game stats-wise, what can we see? First of all, my attention is drawn to the physical column because I can instantly spot a positive and a negative. It's great to see that he does have really high stamina. He has a 90 rating for that attribute, which is absolutely fantastic to see. But he does only have 68 strength, which isn't ideal. Defensively, this guy has 84 interceptions and 84 stand tackle. He's also got some really good dribbling stats for a defender. And it's really good to see an elite stat in the passing section. This inform Robertson has 89 crossing. Right then, getting into the in-game clips, how was this guy in-game? Well, one of the first things I'll discuss is his high, high wear crits, because in-game, they are definitely noticeable. Robertson likes to get forward when there's space ahead of him, but he'll also track back when the opposition has possession. I thought on the ball, Robertson was solid. For a defender, he's a brilliant dribbler, and he's great for running down the wings with. He felt very quick with and without the ball. And then once you get down the wing, there's just one thing to do, and that's whip the ball into the box. And Robertson is brilliant at crossing. His deliveries are great. And if you attack with your fullbacks and cross a lot, I can assure you right now that this guy will pick up plenty of assists for you. When it comes to defending, I liked how actively he moved. He was really good at intercepting passes that came within his vicinity. He has the pace to track back and force players out wide. And his attacking ability is solid too. He isn't the strongest of players though, so if you come up against a player like a Ronaldo, a Cavani or a Lewandowski, if one of them is running at you, Robertson is going to struggle a bit, as them higher tier players who are stronger are able to hold Robertson off. With that being said, if you want to get the most out of this guy, I would advise using a chem style which improves his physical attributes and that will help with the previously mentioned issue. It's also worth noting that aerially Robertson isn't fantastic in FIFA, so if you're up against a tallish um, winger or if he's marking a striker you could be in trouble if your opponent opts to cross overall though as far as left backs go in FIFA Robertson is not a bad option at all especially if you want an attacking left back because when going forward this guy is class is he the best Premier League left back option currently in ultimate team um, offensively I would say yes defensively I'd probably say no what I'll say is if you attack with your full backs You'll love this guy and I definitely advise you to try him. But if you want your left back just to sit back and defend, I'd look elsewhere. I'd look for someone who's a bit stronger and has decent pace. So in summary, it's a very good left back card, but I don't think it will suit everyone. I will quickly say though before we end that I don't advise you pick this guy up right now or in the next few days because Black Friday is next week. So if you're thinking about buying him, hold off for now as his price is going to drop. Anyway guys, those are my thoughts on the inform Andy Robertson. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, leave a like on it. Comment below your thoughts. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.